right guys, back again. So today I'm going to talk about um, everything that I feed my fish and corals. I think it's really important to have a real mixed kind of diet. All of, you know, obviously the fish, the corals, all the invertebrates, they all need different stuff. So I'm just going to go through everything that I feed this tank and um, probably show you some feeding. Alright, so on my little table in front of me I've got everything that I use to feed these uh, fish. So I use the Eheim automatic feeder and you can set it for four time intervals and have it set for two rotations so you can effectively feed eight times a day. It's really easy to use, you just fill up the cylinder here with all the bits and bobs that you want to use. So the first thing I put in it is pellets. These are the sinking uh, granules and you can see there they're quite thin and well quite small so they're great for all the little fish um, and, well, and for the big fish as well they just tend to eat more of them then I put in a slightly bigger pellet I've got these samples that I had from um, coral freaks so I've been using these and these are more like sticks but I generally pick up ones that have got like a good mix of protein and uh, algaes and stuff like that so just to have a couple of different sizes, some that sink, some that float. I find even the ones that say they sink tend to float for a little bit until they've got the water in them. But my, the way it spins, it actually turns into my gyre pump. So it kind of all gets circulated and mixes around anyway. Then I add um, some First Bites uh, flake food. And what I do is it comes quite, they're quite big flakes. So what I tend to do is really smoosh them up and just get a little bit of a fine dusting of it. And I think that helps feed the corals as well. Um, I also use some of these bright red ones which are colour enhancing. Um, and there's a real good, uh, so it's got a real good variety but you can see the colour of these. So apparently that all helps with um, the colours of the fish. This is more protein based. Um, and then I put in some reefroids which I have in the automatic feeder as well that get mixed up so that gets fed as well um, and then I have some more coral food that I mix in there as well which again very similar to reefroids it's you know a real sort of quite a smelly powder um, and everything seems to react really well to that all the little hermit crabs and everything all come out um, every time it spins. They've gotten used to the time now so they know as and when they need to come up for food. But then super important for all of the tangs is I put the seaweed on a clip and I do this once or twice a week. Um, I use two types so I just get this one from the supermarket and this one from the pet shop um, and I put them on a clip and everyone seems to go crazy for it. Um, I also add in some frozen food as well, so I'm going to show you what I do for the frozen food. Alright, and now what I do is I add some frozen food, and I normally only do this once or twice a week. Um, obviously when it comes to feeding my eel, I do that like every day, but with um, the big tank, I just feed it frozen food probably about twice a week. So in here I have some freshly mixed up salt water and what I do is I just put in some uh, raw prawns that I get from Tesco's so I chop them up and I've got them literally defrosting in the fresh salt water there then I add a cube of frozen lobster eggs I think these are amazing they're great for fry as well um, I've heard people uh, able to raise like their Bangai cardinals on them which is pretty cool then I like to add some mussels and then some mysis um, but what I also do is I start the whole process off with this uh, Pollock Lab Medics which just gets everybody's enticed to, to feed um, it's really great for fussy eaters it gets them like, showing interest in food and what have you I mean it's probably not even needed because frozen food is a little bit more appealing to the fussier eater anyway because it looks more like the real thing I guess. Um, but I have it so I use it. Okay so first of all I'm going to add my little pipette full of this good stuff.
So then we've got this kind of slurry looking kind of stuff. And I literally just fire away. There we go, and I just save a little bit back for the other tank. That's it for today, that's uh, insight into all the different types of variety of food that I feed my fish. I think that like variety, it's like the spice of life. Um, I think small uh, continuous feedings are much better than say once a day, a big feeding. Um, as you can see these guys do get fed a lot. I've actually upped my feeding a little bit because obviously on my um, ICP test it said that my uh, phosphorus was, uh, was quite low. So yeah, I mean at least it gives me an excuse to be able to feed some more so that's always good. And I also wanted to mention that I have just set up a Patreon account as well. So it's essentially a sort of a tip jar uh, for creators such as myself to get sort of a little bit recognition or um, basically YouTube have made it very difficult for people to become monetized or to have adverts put on their content and although this isn't something that I do as a job it's actually it's quite nice to get sort of recognition and obviously anything that helps towards paying for my hobby is amazing and can only be a good thing so although it's, you know, it's not obligatory or anything like that it's just something that I wanted to do these videos take quite a lot of time I'm starting to really appreciate the amount of time and effort that a lot of people who I watch have put into into educating or just helping others so it was something that I just wanted to add to my account it's um, yeah it's not a it's not anything that anybody needs to actually to do, but I just wanted to put it out there. Um, I've had people asking if there's anything that they can do to help, so I thought actually it might be quite a nice thing. Like I say, it's like a tip jar. I'm actually in a job that relies on tips anyway. So yeah, it's just there. It's just something I thought I'd add. Um, like I say, because YouTube do make it very difficult now. I think you need so many subscribers and you need to have so many hours of watch time as well before you're even considered just to have adverts on so I think I'm still quite away from that anyway so I thought I'd just add this as 
as something to add to my to my channel. So um, continue to like, share, subscribe, all of the good stuff, um, and I'll have another video out very soon.